the path that we choose now will determine the cause for future generations. That is why we are taking steps to strengthen our democracy and reaffirm our commitment to a constitution that protects us all. We are working together to revitalize our economy and end the inequality and injustice that impedes our progress as a nation. We are standing together against corruption and to ensure that those who are responsible for state capture will be punished for their crimes. We are rebuilding the state and restoring trust and pride in our public institutions. There is agreement amongst a broad and diverse range of South Africans that fundamental change and fundamental reforms are needed to revive economic growth in our country. There is a need both to address the immediate crisis and to create conditions for long-lasting stability and development. To achieve this, South Africa needs a new consensus. It is when government creates that environment that will enable businesses, both small and big, to emerge, to grow, to access new markets, to create new products, and to hire more employees. With a view to addressing these challenges, we are accelerating the implementation of far-reaching structural reforms with a view to modernizing and transforming these industries, to unlock investment, to reduce the costs of doing business and to increase competitiveness and to heighten growth in our economy. We have found that there are too many regulations in our economy and our country that are unduly complicated, costly and difficult to comply with. This prevents companies from growing and creating jobs. We are therefore working to improve the business environment for companies of all sizes through a dedicated capacity in the presidency to reduce red tape. Through innovative funding and improved technical capabilities, we have prioritized infrastructure projects to support economic growth and better livelihoods, especially in energy, roads, and water management. Properly managed, the energy transition will benefit all. Renewable energy production will make electricity cheaper and more dependable and will allow our industries to remain globally competitive as well. The first two phases of the Presidential Employment Stimulus Programs, which we launched in October of 2020, have supported over 850,000 opportunities. In addition to expanding public employment, we are providing support to young people to prepare them for the work and link them to opportunities. We will, as the Commission's first report recommends, strengthen the system to protect whistleblowers who are a vital safeguard in the fight against corruption and who take huge personal risk. Many individuals and companies that the Commission has found were responsible for state capture must now be held accountable. The investigating directorate in the NPA is now poised to deliver on its crucial mandate and a dedicated team has been established to pursue these cases. We are taking steps to safeguard our democracy 
to protect our economic infrastructure and to build safer communities for all. We will soon be announcing leadership changes in a number of security agencies to strengthen our security structures. We are going to make resources available to recruit and train an additional 12,000 new police personnel to ensure that the South African Police Service increases its capacity. This year, we are intensifying the fight against gender-based violence and femicide through the implementation of a strategic plan and also taking other measures to promote the empowerment of women. So I ask every South African to rally together, whether we agree with each other on certain issues or not, but there is a lot that binds us together. This is the time for us to work together and let us together build our country. But more importantly for me, this is the time with all the economic measures that we've announced, as well as the other social protection measures that we've put forward. This is the time to leave no one behind. We must all move together as one, as South Africans. I thank you. Yeah.